What's going on everybody? It's Azazel and I'm back with some Black Ops 2 gameplay on Raid today. And I die so close to the fucking nuclear on this. I still have yet to get a nuclear in Black Ops 2. As soon as I hit the brutal, I fucking die. So I get 25 and then fucking die. But, man, it was so close. But enough about the gameplay. You guys can watch it in the background. Enjoy it, whatever. Not enjoy it. Just listen to me. Close the browser out and just listen, whatever you want to do. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about advanced warfare, but not so much about opinions. What's the game going to be like and all that? I want to kind of ask your opinion, uh, being players, as a guy disappears while I'm trying to shoot his face in. But I want to ask you, what's it going to take? to bring Call of Duty back to what we used to love, right? Because people complained about how much Black Ops 2 sucked when it was out, and they said it was the worst Call of Duty ever, and then Ghosts came out and actually was really bad, or is really bad, and blew Black Ops 2 out of the water, so much so that there are three times as many people playing it on any given day. Black Ops 2 is just that much better. The numbers don't lie, ladies and gentlemen. When there are 140, 150,000 people on the Xbox 360 playing Black Ops 2 and 20 to 30,000 playing it on the 360 or Xbox One at any given time, even if you add those numbers together, that's still less than half or about half of the actual population playing COD. That's pretty crazy considering how much of the game sells and has sold. All right, so people just aren't playing it. And that's just what it is. So what I'm talking about now, what I want to talk about myself is, man, I've got faith in this franchise, but not in what, not in the way that you probably may think. You'd be like, what? You think they're actually going to make a good Call of Duty game? Uh, no, I I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not denying the fact that it can happen, because who knows, man? Maybe Sledgehammer is what we need—a fresh face, right? We've all thought about it. But what about this thought? It can't get much worse, right? That's a little bit positive. You know, it can't get worse than Ghosts. And if it can, then fuck. Sledgehammer should be shot and just drug out behind a truck for 50 miles behind it by on a chain. It's just, it doesn't make any sense to me how a game like Ghosts can come out. And then already what we're seeing in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is looking bad. You know, a lot of people are like, oh god, it looks so terrible, all the futuristic stuff. But we don't know how it's all going to work yet. We know nothing about the multiplayer. And that won't be out for another few weeks, a month, or something like that. Just like it always is every year. We know we've played this game before. We've ridden this bike. We've been to this rodeo. Whatever analogy or metaphor you want to use. Guys, the game might be good. And I know some people that are so done with the fucking franchise that they've said it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. They're just not going to fucking buy it because they know it's going to be a waste of their $60 plus whatever the season pass cost. And then the 400, here's where I die off the nuclear, uh, on the brutal. Boo. Uh, I was so mad. But people are going to be mad about spending all that money and I can't blame them. And I think that's one of the big things. Like back when Call of Duty 4 was out and Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, like you didn't have to pay a shit ton of money for the maps. I mean, yeah, it cost more money, but it wasn't a ridiculous amount of money. Now people are putting more money into this game, which means they want more out of it. They want more out of this investment. This is a year long investment for a lot of people. So yeah, of course, when things aren't leaving, living up to their standards, if the game isn't playing how they want it to play, just nobody left in this game. Just look at that leaderboard. Just woo. But just, it's not living up to the standards. And people have put $60 for the game, $50 for the fucking season pass. And then maybe they buy all the, the voices and the, the camo packs and the skins and all that. And you're looking at another $50 probably now at this point. Who even though I don't pay attention. And you just wonder, like, when's enough? When is it enough? When have we spent enough money on the game? When have we spent enough money on this game that they should be able to give us what we've paid for? And I know the answer to that question. The answer to that question is it will never be enough. As long as we continue to pre-order these games, as long as we continue to give them money for microtransactions and for camos and skins and all these things that we don't need to make the game good, they're going to keep doing it. They're going to keep spitting out a half-made product and hopefully fixing it later. And that's just how it's going to be, guys. We've, we've got to take the game back. It's got to become ours again. We have to start having fun with this game. And we got to figure out what's going to bring back the faith 
in this franchise. I appreciate you guys watching today. And uh, I'm going to have some more stuff coming up soon. Got a lot of good things in store. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. It has been Azazel.